Let's start by rolling the shoulders. Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big circles all the way around, moving through the whole shoulder. And change direction up to it. Three, two, one. Okay, drop the head, big circle all the way around. And all the way back. Okay, one more direction. From there, hands on the hips, feet over the part, a little circle, and come all the way back. To make sure we're moving through our hips here. All the way around, all the way back. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're going to bring the feet together, bend the knees slightly, little circle, and all the way back. We'll warm up all our joints here before we go into warm up our muscles. Do this from home. Three, two, one. Okay, let's step out on the toe, little circle, and all the way back. One more interaction and soft to the upside again around and back. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to start grabbing that band first and we're going to hold it out. So, depending on how why do you need to? You're going to hold it in front of you and bring it all the way back as much as you can and all the way forward. Don't worry if you can't get the whole way. The aim is to get as far as you can and all the way around. If you don't have a band, you can use a handle of a brush or a broom. Anything like that. If you have a pipe, you can do that. All the way around, all the way back. Trying to get as far as we can. Just getting some rotation into our shoulders. We're going to do three, two, and one. Okay, from there, we're going to hold the band in front. You're going to pull it apart as much as you can. If you, again, if you have a broom or a brush, you can do it this way as well. And from there, we're going to pull our elbows down to our side and push back up. So we're moving through those shoulder breaks down. Pull that behind our head, squeezing right down, pull the band apart as we do so. 
moving through our shoulders here. Down, on back up. Four, three, two, and one more. Okay, shake it out for a second there. You gotta put one hand down, one hand up. Again, you can do this with a broom if you need one. You're gonna come around and back, keeping the bottom hand down by your side. Just go on a one side here, around as much as we can, and back. And it's all relative to how much you can do. Three, two, and one okay bring it back up gonna go to the opposite sides opposite hand is down we'll go around again as much as you can and back all right around all the way back Yeah, we're just moving as much as we can through this. And back around. Four. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, bring it down. Just shake it up. I'm gonna hold that band in front of us now. So try and get a bit of tension again. If you're already using a broom, you can do that too. And we're gonna pull back and see the shoulder blades together. Back, squeeze the shoulders together. Kind of high row. We want to keep our elbows at shoulder height. Pull them back, forward. Working all the way around our shoulders here at the moment. Four, three, two, and uh, one. Last one, we're going to bring it out to just for our belly button. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull back and squeeze. Different angles of our shoulders. Make sure we're trying to get those shoulder blades together at the back. We put some tension on the band, do. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, shake it out. We're going to bring it down to the mat now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lie back, we're going to do a few hamstring and hip stretches, we're going to lie back, you're going to pop that band or if you have a towel at home, if you don't have a band, we're on the bottom of your foot, so a long towel will do as well. You're going to lift up till the first time you feel a bit of tension, so just a little bit of a stretch, we don't want to be all the way up here and pulling really hard, first time we get a little bit of tension, you might be surprised when that starts, don't worry, you're just going to hold it there for 10 seconds. You're going to inhale, exhale, try and ease it up a little bit higher. Remember, we don't want to force it into a stretch. And once more, we're going to inhale, exhale, bring it, see if you can bring it a little bit higher. Don't worry if you hit a point where you can't go any higher. Just keep holding it there. Let the muscle ease out, don't force it. Okay, once more, we go a little higher. Okay, inhale, 
Exhale, let it down. We're going to bring it up now. This time, I'm going to get it like fall out as far as you can. Supporting with the band, so we should be feeling the stretch on the inside of the leg here, side your hip. If you want to make it a little bit more intense, try and pull your foot a little bit closer to your ear. But again, we're just getting into that first area of bind or the first little bit of tension. We're just holding it there. Now, if you can, either let it drop a little bit further or pull your toe towards your ear. Ever so slightly, just increase the stretch a little bit. Again, we're not forcing it into anything. And again, can we come a little bit higher? If not, don't worry, just stay where you are. Okay, inhale, exhale, bring it up. Then we're gonna drop our foot across. Our other leg, just again, we're going as low as we can. In my case, my leg gets in the way, so I can only go a certain, certain way. You probably won't be able to tap the ground, don't worry. Now from there, if you can, pull your toe a little bit closer. Don't worry if you can come any closer, stay where it is. Don't force it again. You can come a little bit closer again. Toe to your face. And inhale, exhale, bring it up and we're gonna pop our leg into the other sorry pop, pop our foot into the other band or other foot into the other band into the same band sorry okay right. and again we're going to lift up just that first point of tension we're going to hold it there for 10 seconds remember you might find one leg is stiffer than the other that's completely normal In my case is this one tends to be a little bit stiffer you can already feel that stretch going to inhale Exhale, bring it up a little higher. Nice work. Inhale. Exhale, come a little higher. Yeah. Remember, don't worry if you can't go any higher, just stay where you are. Good. Three, two, one. Let it down, we're going to bring it up now again and let our foot fall outwards, holding it up with the band. So again, we're just letting it down as much as you can. You can support it, keep it up a little bit higher with your band if needs be. Keep breathing here, letting that just loosen out. If you can, bring your toe a little bit closer to your face. If not, just stay where you are. Remember, we don't want to force it in any stretches. And a little closer if you can.
And we're gonna inhale, exhale, bring it up. And then across the body again, just going as far as you can. Don't worry where that is. Just gonna let that relax down. Can bring a little bit closer. Now, don't worry if you can't just stay where it is. And if you can, try and bring a little bit closer. Again, no worries if you can't. You're just going as far as you can. We're holding it for five, four, three, two. One, let's go up and back down. Okay. I'm gonna pop this band to the side. We're done with it now. And we're gonna lie on our side with our head supporting, or our lower arm supporting our head. You're gonna lift your leg up as high as you can, keeping our core tight and our back straight. Lift up and back down. Three, three, two, one. Exhale up. Inhale, lower. This can get very tough very quickly, so don't worry if it is. Working on using the outside of our leg here. Keep going, shoot up, slow back down. Make that muscle work. Nearly there, we're gonna do 10 more. Five, four. Five, four, three, two, and one last one, up and back down. Okay, we're going to go onto the opposite side here. We're gonna do the same thing again. We're lying on the side, supporting our head, legs are straight, and we're lifting up as high as we can, slowly lowering. We're using these side muscles in the hip, Should be feeling it come from here first, hopefully not from here. We want these muscles to work. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower. Really powerful up, slowly back down. Again, with these, you might find one side harder than the other. Don't worry. Make sure we're breathing through each one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly low. All right, we're going to go back onto our back here. We're going to press our, our back into the mat to make sure our core is engaged. I'm going to bring our legs up to 90 degrees. So an easier option is just straight down, tap your toe and come up, okay? We're going to make it a little bit harder. We're going to bring your leg out as far as you can and swap it over. Keeping our back pressed into the mat at all times. We're looking to use our hips here. Breathing through each one. Keeping our core nice and tight. Core is not coming up off, back is not coming up off the mat. Be quite a tough exercise. So if you do want to, just go straight into the toe tap. 
Otherwise, extend the leg out as much as you can and swap over. Do five more each side. Okay, so last one each side. And okay, feet into the mat, plant the feet into the mat. We're going to squeeze our glutes, tuck our hips, and slowly lift up into a bridge position. And slowly back down. So imagine you're peeling each individual vertebrae up off the mat, lifting up. Squeeze, slowly lift, slow back down. Make sure we're using our glutes to lift up here. We're not pulling up through our hips. Through our glutes each time. Keeping your core nice and tight as well. On your next one, we're going to lift up, hold it in that position. Squeeze the glutes to lift up, squeeze the core. Feel it in your glutes. Feel your core tight to hold yourself stable as well. Make sure your feet are pressed into the mat. Keep yourself stable. We're going to hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower back down. Okay, we're going to extend out the legs again. We need another one for our hips here. Pressing that back into the mat again, so there should be no gap. Core is nice and tight. Hands to our side, you're going to lift one leg up to 90 degrees and back down. Lift up as high as you can, if you can get to 90 degrees. But we're using our hip flexor muscles here to lift and lower. Your back should not come out of contact to mat. And you might feel a stretch in the back of your legs. That's okay too. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Doing a nice controlled here. All the way up, back down. We're going to do four, three, two, and one. And I'm going to swap to your side. Again, keep that back press into the mat, core is tight. You should still be able to breathe while keeping your core engaged. Remember, we breathe as we lift up. Exhale, inhale as we come down. Use that hip flexor. Make it work, make it move. Five. Four. Three, two, get one to go, one, and lower. Okay, 
We're going to go over onto our front here. Go into our, into our box position. All right. All we're going to do is so we want to make sure that straight line from our shoulder to our wrist and our knee to our hip. And we're going to roll our shoulders back and roll them forward. Try and get movement as much as we can around through that shoulder and all the way back. We hear the rest of our bodies remaining neutral. We are just rolling through our shoulders and rolling back. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna drop the head, put the hips back up towards the ceiling as much as we can. All the way and look up. So we drop the head, hook our hips, push her back up. So it's cat cow and yoga. Just get a bit of a stretch through our back as well. Imagine a string in the middle of your back pulling you up. And then you can slowly come back. Three, two, what to go? And back. Okay. We're going to sit back onto our heels and pull forward. Straight through the back. If you want, you can read your fingertips as far forward as you can, or you can just relax into it. Walk our hands over one side. Put your hands back, center. I'm going to bring you up the upside. And um, back to center. Let's bring it back up into that box position. We are going to lift one leg out to the side as much as we can and back. The goal here is not to rotate our hips with it. We're just lifting as so you can and back. It's called a fire hydrant. I'll let you guess why. So exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. The goal here with this, as I said, is to not rotate our hips with it. We're just coming up as high as we can. And back around. Four, three, two, and one. So that's the opposite side. Again, try not to rotate as much as possible, keeping our body as square as we can, using your core to maintain balance. Again, we exhale as we lift up, inhale, lower. Four, three, 
Sim. And one. Back down. Okay, we're going to set one leg back. Pushing that toe towards the floor. Stretch out half a little bit. Now you're pushing the heel towards the floor. Toes in the floor. Stretching out our calf muscle here. If you feel like you can, push a little bit further. Three, two, one, bring it back, swap it over. Opposite foot goes back. Yeah, we're just pushing back as far as you can. Open up that calf muscle. Throw forces again. We're just opening up slowly. Three, two, one. Bring it back. Okay, we're going to move on to our knees. We're going to bring one leg forward, keeping one leg back. You're going to squeeze your glute from behind so we can open up the front of our hips. So squeeze your glute, squeeze your bum from the side to the back. We're just going to push our knee slightly forward until we're into that first little stretch. Do that first bit of stretch here. We're going to hold it there. From there, we're going to inhale, exhale, see if we can go a little further. If not, just stay where we are again. Remember, we're not forcing this muscle. A little further again. Three, two, and one. Bring it back. I'm going to swap it over. Again, yeah, we're coming into our first little bit of stretch first. Squeeze the glute, open up the front of that hip, and push the leg slightly forward. Goal here is try and bring our knee over our toe, without our foot coming up off the mat. So if you can't do that, you want to keep it above your toe. Inhale, exhale, come a little bit further. Again, okay, we're going to inhale, exhale, go a little bit further if you can. Now we're starting to get painful, don't push it. We just want to feel that stretch, feel that hip open up. Try and get it once more if you can. Three, two, one, bring it back. Okay, you're going to stand up. Interlock, fingers behind your back. Push it up as high as you can to get your chest forward, keeping your head up. And lift up a little higher. Don't worry if you can't. Three, two, one, we're going to let it go. Swap it over and lock fingers in front of you. Push as far apart as you can and drop the head. Now we're pushing as far apart as you can. Come up the back of those shoulders. Three, two, one, let's lift it up right up overhead. Push towards that ceiling. Gonna lean low to one side. As far as it's comfortable, just kind of lean there. Feel that stretch down our side, our back, our shoulders. Can you go a little bit further? If not, just stay where you are.
We'll bring it back up. And we'll go to the opposite side here. Again, just a little bit as far as you can. And lean a little bit further. If you can do, if not, stay where you are. Three, two, one, bring it up, let it go, and you're done. Well done today.